Carmen. No score here, 8.09 to play first quarter. And it's off State bringing it across the halfway mark. Over the Cancun Challenge logo comes Johnson. Here's Street. Poole sets the screen. Little pick and roll. Poole goes up with the right hand. That one is too strong. Grabs her own rebound. Now it's tipped around and grabbed by Bourne. Bourne to Moore. Kenyon down low to Tapasa. That's going to be a foul on Moore. Erica Moore, the junior out of Lazella, Georgia. Independence Community College transfer. Kenyon to inbound. Gets it to Bourne. Across to Moore. Back. On the wing to Bourne. Here's Grandin. To Grace Kenyon. Skip pass to Bourne. Thought about a three. Hesitates. Now gives to Moore. Now. Grandin in the corner for three. That one's off. Kenyon the rebound. Battled around. Throws one up. No, but is fouled. 7.23 here. First quarter, still looking for our first bucket of the ball game. Grace Kenyon has the chance here with a free throw. Kenyon, the redshirt freshman out of Bainbridge Island, Washington, knocks down the free throw to make it one to nothing. Checking into the ball game is Peyton Lewis, the freshman guard out of Hampton, Georgia. Another one of those Independence Community College transfers. For head coach Agnes Bar Baranato. Two nothing here after a pair of free throws from Kenyon. Johnson has it, kicks it over to Street, far side on the wing. Poole sets the screen, she goes opposite side. The jumper is long, the rebound battled for. And dribbling out of bounds off of Poole, it will be Idaho State basketball. Idaho State repping the Big Sky Conference this evening. And Kennesaw State out of the Atlantic Sun. Both teams did not play in the postseason last year. Looking to ride some momentum from this tournament. Vault them into an NCAA or WNIT appearance. Ball is tipped. Kenyon picks it up. 11 on the shot clock. Comes near side to Bourne. Bourne at the elbow. Back out to Tapasa. Baseline jumper rattles out. The rebound battled for. Players hit the deck. It falls to Kenyon, who throws one up. That one's off, but it's tipped out to Tapasa. Another chance for the Bengals. Here's Kenyon. Tapasa hands off to Grandin. Tapasa sets the screen. Grandin at the free throw line. Here's Bourne. Pass to Grandin. Looking inside, goes back out to Kenyon. Seven on the shot clock, she's asking for a screen. Here comes Tapasa. Kenyon stops, a nice pass. The offensive rebound from Bourne, she gets it again. Finally, Johnson picks it up for Kennesaw State. Back the other way we come. Coast to coast with the left hand, Johnson. Amani Johnson scores the first bucket of the game. Just under six minutes to play in the first quarter for Kennesaw State. Two to two here in the early going. Here's Bourne. Kenyon. As Kennesaw State settles into that 2-3 zone, but Sailor Grandin says, I'll shoot you out of it. 5-2. Johnson working on Grandin. Street, Avram sets the screen, little pick and roll, Avram with the left hand, nice little two-woman game between Street and Avram. There's Bourne, out of Moore, back to Bourne, Bourne bumped, given back, Kenyon mishandles the pass, throws it near side to Tapasa. now Grandin, Grandin working on Lewis, side to Moore. Swung around to the far side. Kenyon launches up a three. That one's off. Tapasa with the rebound. 
and is fouled by Street as she tries to put it back in. The possible head to the line here, 438. Left to play here first quarter, five to four is your score. We'll be back with more from Mexico. Welcome back here to the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya. It's 2018 Cancun Challenge. Ty Tupasa at the line, knocks down the front end of two free throws. Six to four now, trying to extend the lead to three and rattles home the back end. After the free throw, that will Allow Montana Ultrock to check in. Here is Street for Kennesaw State. Street around the pick. Stops, pops, hits. Kamaya Street, her first two points of the game. Brings her team within one, seven to six. There's Grandin. Swing around to Ultrock. Kenyon, nice ball movement here from the Bengals, but a travel by Bourne. Offense is starting to find its footing around this 2-3 zone. Also in for Kennesaw State, Carlotta Gianola. Johnson to Street on the far side. Gianola sets the screen. Street all the way, that one is blocked by Moore inside. Abram picks up the rebound. Johnson fires for three, swish. Amani Johnson with her fifth point. It's Idaho State with it now. Trailing for the first time. There's a three by Old Trog. that one's off. And the rebound to Walker, Johnson. To Gianola, and that is a little bump from Moore. Delaney Moore picks up the foul. That's her first. As Tapasa checks back in, as does Poole. Avram out for Kennesaw State. Moore out for the Bengals. Poole gets the inbound, hands off to Johnson. Hockey up top near the logo is Street. Maya Street gets the screen from Gianola. Turns to the near side, looking for Poole inside. Poole grabs it, turns and faces, takes a dribble, hands off to Gianola, caught the bucket and is fouled. Carlotta Gianola, her first basket of the game. Foul goes on side to Pasa, her second. Third foul. The Bengals in the quarter, 316 on the clock. One free throw here for Gianola. Gianola, three points the old-fashioned way. 
as Tapasa will check out. Ellie Smith checks in. Your head coach, Seton Sebaleski, in his 11th season in Pocatello. That one is tipped away by Walker. It'll remain Idaho State basketball. Born to inbound. Pops all the way to Kenyon. That one is stolen out of the air by Walker. Up to Johnson. Kennesaw State looking to push. Johnson fires at the free throw line. That one's off, born the rebound and a foul called. Johnson mad at herself. Reaching in after the missed shot. Kenyon fires up to Old Trod. Bourne working on Walker. Walker in her all the way ab above the three-point line. Here's Grandin. Grandin driving in on street. Takes the contact. Can't find the bottom of the net, but she'll get free throws. Taylor Grandin heads to the line. Grandin, a senior. One of just three seniors on this team for Sevaleski. She hits the first free throw. Moore checks back into the game. Young squad here for Idaho State in Cancun. Kennesaw State with the ball and trying to extend its lead. They leave 12-9 at the moment. Here's Johnson. Kicks back out to Street. Street guarded by Bourne. Gets the screen from Poole. Street, a little elbow jumper. That one's off and the rebound to Kenyon. Bourne jogging up court across the timeline. Awaits the play call. Now to Kenyon. Kenyon stops at the free throw line. Drops to Bourne. Bourne around a pick, guarded by Walker. Now over to Moore. Moore with eight seconds on the shot clock. Stops, throws inside a little five footer from Ellie Smith is down. It's 12 to 11. Here's Johnson. Johnson to street inside Gianola. Gianola turns, spins, left hand, no. Rebound, Grandin. Kicked out to Bourne. Bourne, recognize the numbers. Grabs to Kenyon. Kenyon stopped her dribble. And Moore is bumped by Poole. Trying to accept the pass. A little awkward spot for Grace Kenyon to pick up the dribble. Now with 16 fouls, we're going to get two free throws here for Delaney Moore. Off the back iron on the front end. Avram will check back in for Kennesaw State. As will Old Trog for the Bengals. 114 on the clock here, first quarter. That one off and the rebound to Johnson. Johnson over half court. Off to Gianola, Gianola working baseline, finds Avram at the center who flips it in for two. Nice pass there, interior passing from the Kennesaw State big. It's at 14-11, 52 seconds in the clock, working first quarter. Here's Kenyon. Kenyon stolen away by Street. Kamaya Street streaking down the court and lays it up and in for two. Here's Bourne. Bourne to Smith. Smith takes a couple of dribbles, will hand to Kenyon. Kenyon on the Smith screen to the far side and more. 
Whitmore to Bourne. Bourne trying to drive in, goes with the left hand all the way. An impressive drive from Bourne. Here comes Johnson, Johnson with five. Johnson guarded by Kenyon and traveled with the basketball before she could do anything. One point nine on the clock, Idaho State will just hand it in and call it good. 16-13 at the end of one. 10 more minutes on the clock in the second quarter when we come back. Ten points in the paint for Kennesaw State in that first quarter. Leads to a three-point lead. 16-13 after the first stanza of this matchup. Three more to come here as Johnson has it. Gianola, a little slip screen. That pass is over her head. Ultrock picks, picks it up. Back come the Bengals. Here's Grandin. Johnson greets her out top. A foul called. It's gonna go against Walker. Walker's first personal foul as Kenyon fires it into Grandin. Grandin orchestrating the offense. Near side, Ultron. Grandin, once again, as Kennesaw State back into his own. Grandin to Moore. Back to Kenyon. Kenyon to Grandin. Nine on the shot clock. Corner pocket, Kenyon. That one is good. Grace Kenyon, her first three pointer. Five points now on the evening. Here's a quick one by Street. That one's off to pass of the rebound. Grandin across the halfway mark. That's to Kenyon. Kenyon to Tapasa. Hand off to Kenyon. Bump by Avram. Back to Grandin. Grandin will fire a three. That one rattles home. Back-to-back -back three pointers from Idaho State and they have the lead 19-16. Eight points now for Grandin. Avram, Gianola, inside Street. Street dancing around and just fires it into the backcourt. They're gonna say it was tipped. Idaho State doesn't like the call. Still seven seconds on the shot clock. Gianola sets the screen. Street trying to go around it, fires one up. That one misses everything. To pass the rebound. Brandon up court. The 28 foot mark. Dribbles in. Out to Moore. Near side Kenyon. 
Kenyon to the middle and an offensive foul gonna be called on Moore. Delaney Moore will pick up her second foul. Be credited the turnover. Checking into the game for Kennesaw State is Hoover. Brianna Hoover, the sophomore guard out of Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. Here's Gianola. To Street. Inside, and Avram called for the offensive foul, trying to gain position on Tapasa down low. Delaney Moore checks out. Old Trog back in. Full court pressure now from Kennesaw State. Kenyon to the middle and Grandin. Grandin looking forward, his bump controls the ball. Grandin all the way around. Ultrock thought about a three, now she'll take it. That one's off the front iron to pass the rebound. Hands to Kenyon. Kenyon trying to go baseline is bumped by Gianola. Already three fouls on the Owls. So 7-12 left to play here first half. Here's Bourne to Old Trog. Kenyon, Grandin pumps up a three. You betcha, Sailor Grandin. Forced one into double figures now with 11. Here's Street, Street dancing around to Gianola. Gianola back to Avram. Avram pump fakes, drives the lane, puts it up short. Kicks out to Grandin. Grandin wants to run. Out to Oltrog, fires up a three. That one's off, but Kenyon the rebound. To Oltrog, skip pass to Bourne. Kennesaw State switches back to a man defense. Here's Tapasa, Tapasa over the head of Grace Kenyon. It'll be a turnover, just the sixth turnover of the ball game for Idaho State, four for Kennesaw State. Johnson walks it up court, goes far side to street. Gianola sets the screen. Now has it, Gianola, a little 18-footer is good. Carolina Gianola now has five. 22-18, Idaho State up by four. Ultron inside. Here's Kenyon all the way to the hole. Found a little soft spot in the zone. Johnson brings it forward. Street, Johnson in the corner. Looking for Avram now. Kicks back out to Johnson, back into Avram. Little reposition, goes with the left hand. That one is off, Tabasa the rebound. Strong defense from side, Tabasa. 5-10 in the clock working here, second quarter. Grace Kenyon walking it up. Grandin has it. Tabasa sets the screen. Kicks out to Bourne, over to Kenyon in the corner, fires a three, that one's off. Ball tipped out of bounds, no, a foul call. Down low, and they're gonna put it on Kennesaw State. It's gonna give the Bengals a second chance here. 4.55 to play here, second quarter. Idaho State 24, Kennesaw State 18. We return from Mexico.
Old Truck to inbound, gets it right into Kenyon, hangs on the rim. No, Kenyon grabs the offensive rebound, tipped around and grabbed by Street. Back comes Kennesaw State. Johnson in the near wing. Johnson Gianola fires a 15 footer and hits Carlotta Gianola. That comes Bourne and the Bengals. Comes near Symes. Bourne skip pass stolen away by Street, tipped around and grabbed by Ultron. Here comes Bourne. Bourne firing in left hand, no. Street with the rebound, and Bourne gives her the foul. Ty Tapasa checks in. Rather, Sailor Grandin, not Tapasa. Johnson will bring it up for the Owls. Near side street. Man comes to set the screen. Street still with it. Dances back out to Johnson. Johnson, near side street. Gianola turns, fires. That one's too long. Hold Trog the rebound. Up to Grandin. Grandin. 13 leading by four. Triples near side. Hold try. On to Barrientos. Moore. Grandin. Thinks about it and hits the three. Sailor Grandin. 14 points now. And a timeout called by Kennesaw State. Little mini run now for Idaho State to get up seven. Kennesaw State hasn't scored in the last minute and a half. With the Bengals leading 27 to 20. Thanks to Sailor Grandin. The final game of five here on this Thanksgiving Thursday. Five more coming at you tomorrow, right here on CBS Sports Digital. Back comes Johnson. Now Street, Street pump fakes the three to Johnson in the corner. Man at the elbow. And fires a jumper. That is good. Lexi Mann, her first basket of the game. Back come the Bengals. Old try. Near side Moore, inside Kenyon, throws one up and in. Nice cut from the red shirt freshman. Here comes Johnson. Johnson. Trying to find Gianola down low. Gianola. It's been hot early. Gianola turns, fade away. That one's partially blocked and picked up by Ultra. Up to Bourne. Two minutes remaining in the quarter. Bourne. Dribbling near Sines. Now inside. Working in on that zone, Bourne fires up the three, looks off and is. Back comes Street. Street, little two on two, Street, little show and go. Off the back iron, Kenyon is bumped as she grabs the rebound. See a foul on Kennesaw State. And that is their fifth foul, so free throws coming for Grace Kenyon. Kenyon with nine. Three of nine from the field. One for three from downtown. Two for two at the line so far. Already has seven rebounds. Well on her way to a double-double. First free throw is up and good. Kenyon. 
back in at the line. That one rattles off. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Mann. Up to Johnson. Johnson to Hoover. Back to Johnson at the top. Johnson directing traffic. Asked for the screen. Here comes Mann. Inside to Gianola. Gianola dribbles to her left all the way through and is slapped on the arm before she could shoot it. I was going to go on ultra. It will send Gianola to the line. Between Carlotta Gianola, the junior, and Marson, Italy. First free throw is good. Here comes Ellie Smith in for Delaney Moore. Eighty-two seconds left in the half. Second free throw rattles out. Kenyon the rebound. That's her eighth. Here comes Bourne. Old Tron. Working on the zone. A little opposite, 3-2. There's Grandin. Kenyon, thought about it, cuts to a streaking Bourne who bakes it off the window. Nine point lead now for the Bengals, 32-23. Under a minute to play. Man, tries to go over the top to Gianola who is fouled by Kenyon. She can't believe it. That'll be the fourth foul on Idaho State. Not shooting free throws just yet. Johnson inbounds to Mann, kicks all the way up top to Street. Street takes a look at the clock. Street dancing up top to Gianola. Gianola backing down Kenyon at the low block, turns with the left hand, a nifty move from Carlotta Gianola. Gianola now with 10. Back come the Bengals and Grand to Kenyon. Back to Grandin. Grandin, corner three. Rattles out. Rebound man. 10 seconds on the clock. Here comes Hoover. Hoover calls out the plays with seven. Street has it with six. Trying to turn the corner from man with three. Street, a fadeaway jumper at the buzzer. A foul called with one-tenth of a second left in the half. Idaho State. Bails out the Owls and we'll get free throws as the final moments of this first half. 32-25. Here comes Street. First free throw is true. Tamaya Street now with five. Walker checks in for Johnson. Tamaya Street. Doubles herself and hits the second. One tenth, not much left for anything, and they'll just hold it and take it to the half. So it's a five point lead for the Bengals. The Big Sky on top of the Atlantic Sun with 20 minutes more of basketball left to play here at the Hard Rock Hotel Riviera Maya. We'll be back with more from Mexico.
second half action ready to go here in Cancun. 14th edition of this Women's Cancun Challenge. Idaho State with the basketball coming out of the half. They had the halftime lead, 32-27, and there's another bucket. Delaney Moore gives Ty Capasa the assist. Back come the Owls. There's Poole. Poole trying to drive on Moore. Poole chances in the lane, goes up with the right hand, flips it up and in. Back come the Bengals and Bourne. Kenyon back to Bourne. Working on a zone defense now. Kennesaw State switching in and out of zone and man. Here's Kenyon to Bourne. Granted, Kenyon. Kenyon launches up a three. Swish! 37 29. As we go forward, here's Poole inside, backing down on Moore, goes with the right hand short, and the rebound Moore. Idaho State have hit three of their last four. Taylor Grandin has hit four of her last five. She has it now, passes off to Kenyon. Back to Grandin. To Passa underneath, reverse layup off, and the rebound Avram. Avram hands to Johnson. Back comes Kennesaw State. Johnson fires up a three, it rattles in. Five point game, 37-32. Just about two minutes gone here in the third quarter. Granted, Moore. Near side, Kenyon, now Bourne, skip pass, Tapasa, Tapasa, little jumper is fouled. So we'll head to the line to shoot two. Moore picks up the foul. It'll be her second. As Tapasa hits the first free throw. Tapasa now with three points, six rebounds, one assist, one steal. Second free throw is off, and the rebound to Johnson. Johnson. Moving up court inside to Poole. Poole it's to Avram. Outside street, back to Avram. Avram wide open. Underneath, lays it off the window and in. Owls within four. There's Bourne to Kenyon. To Bourne in the corner. Granted up top. Granted directing traffic. Once more on the left side. Now to Kenyon. Back to Grandin. Grandin, a little no-look pass, hesitation to Pasa, grabs her own rebound, has it stripped, and back comes Kennesaw State. Here comes Street. Street, way up court, little dance move inside, hits the back iron, Kenyon the rebound. And the Bengals moving Street right behind, picks her pocket. Street, one on two with the left hand, no good. Johnson the rebound, takes a dribble, puts that one up, that's off. Sailor Grandin the rebound. State. A little 5 1 to run in the last two minutes, 13 seconds. Sadaleski wants more movement from his offense. Here, Kenyon inside to Moore. Moore kicks back out to Grandin. Grandin staring at Johnson. Bounce pass, skip into Kenyon. A nice move, a great cut, Grace Kenyon. And Sadaleski wants time to talk about his offense. 6.23 left in the third. We'll take a timeout, 40-34. Bengals lead in Mexico.
Grace Kenyon has 15 points, nine rebounds, three assists for Idaho State. Right on that last bucket. She has three of her last four. Leads all scores, and we're gonna get a foul underneath. Foul's gonna go against Bourne. First team foul. There's Street. Street trying to drive baseline, cut off by Bourne. Back up top, near side Johnson. There's Street, Street dancing inside out to Poole. Poole trying to float inside, takes the contact and hits the bucket. There's Bourne in a four point game. Ultrock fires up a three, hits it. A nice little answer from Idaho State. Pushes the lead back out to seven. Johnson comes near side to Street, inside to Poole. Poole turns and faces. Now to Avram, back to Poole. Poole fouled. Just a little two-woman game there. Poole and Avram working together inside and outside, repositioning. Earns the foul call, the second of the quarter on Idaho State. comes Gianola in the first half. Carlotta Gianola, 10 points. No rebounds, but did record an assist. 4-7 from the field was Carlotta Gianola. Stolen away by Grandin. Sailor Grandin all the way up court and throws it right to Seton Seveleski. Not amused with the effort offensively in the last couple of possessions. But his team still leads by seven. Street drives baseline, takes the contact, and the bucket falls. Count the basket. Foul's going to go uh, against Kenyon. Third foul on Kenyon now. Let's see how long she stays in there with three fouls. Street at the line to complete the three point play. No. Kenyon skies for the rebound. Old Trog trying to drive inside to Pasa. Turnaround jumper short. Pull the rebound. Street to Johnson. Johnson trying to drive left. Cut off by Kenyon. Johnson still with it. Kicked away by Kenyon. We'll reset the shot clock to 20. Four thirty-eight left to play here, third quarter. Idaho State leads at 43-38. We'll take a timeout, and we'll be right back from the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Mile.
Coming out of the timeout, it'll be Kennesaw State basketball. On the baseline, far side. Let's find its way to Street. Street, directing traffic. Street, a little hot step, finds the hole. Gets the basket, makes it a three point game, 43-40. 4.20 in the clock working, third quarter. Here's Bourne. Bourne guarded by Street, hands off to Grandin. The switch to Moore. Moore dumps into Kenyon. Kenyon has to throw it all the way back out. It goes through Old Trog's legs, and there'll be a turnover. The 10th turnover for the Bengals this evening. We go across the 10 o'clock hour local time. Pianola. Pool. Turns, spins, throws one up. No, but the foul is called. Grace Kenyon picks up the foul. That's four now, and that gets Tapasa up off the bench. Kenyon will to sit some meaningful minutes. Pool, first free throw is good. Five points now for Pool. Snow along with her three rebounds, one assist, one steal. 13 minutes of play. Second free throw from Pool is good. Full court pressure now from the Owls. Trog has it back to Grandin. Everybody backs away. Does waste a bit of time off the clock. Here's more. Backdoor cut to Grandin. Pumps in the air and finds the bottom of the twine. Sailor Grandin now has 16 points. Street inside, pool. Gianola spins, left hand floater is off. Tipped off of Idaho State. Idaho State arguing it was not tipped. Nonetheless, Kennesaw State basketball. Kick all the way out to Lewis. Street has it with nine on the shot clock, guarded by Bourne. Street dribbles to her right, stops, fires a seven-footer, and that is good. Oh. 45-44, Bengals leading. Here's Bourne, swings it around, Old Trot. Bourne inside, Moore, all the way to Tapasa, nice find. That heart of that zone. Stop play here for a mouth guard. On the floor. Maya Street. Dusts off the mouth guard, and we're good to go now. 2.32, clock working, third quarter here. Johnson, near side street. Avram with the screen, street with the jumper. One rattles off, Gianola, the offensive rebound, throws one up, and now grabbed by Grandin. The fifth offensive rebound for Kansas State compared to 11 from the Bengals. Ultrog, pump fakes a three. Throws inside more. Turns and faces. Now to Tapasa. Left handed layup is good. Five point lead restored for Idaho State. Lewis looking at Gianola. Gianola baseline turns, spins, finds Avram off the window. No, Avram, her own rebound is fouled. 
Yanola with some athletic moves and good looks down low. Send Avram to the line. First free throw rattles in. Avram now is seven. So has three rebounds on the evening. Second free throw is good. Three point lead once again. Full court pressure ramped up a little bit and stolen away by Gianola. Back come the Owls and Johnson. Guarded by Grandin, near side street. Drops to Gianola. Gianola backing down more. Flips to Avram. Now Street. Street turns the corner, fires the jumper. It rattles off. Avram, the offensive rebound, takes a step. That one's off. And the rebound to Bourne. Bourne has it. But it's a play here in the third quarter. Born in the corner, looking for Tapasa underneath. Tapasa trying to get around Avram. Kicks back out, Ultrock from the top of the key. That one's off. Here comes Johnson. Johnson. Tripped up by Bourne. A lot of contact on the play. I'll say it was a blocking foul. I'll send Amani Johnson to the line. Johnson, not one of the taller players on the roster, but five rebounds. First free throw does not connect. Pool checks into the game for Gianola. Johnson with eight points. Connects on the second, so make it nine points for Johnson. Here's Grandin. Grandin. To Bourne, who gets it across the timeline. Bourne has it. 19 on the shot clock. 37 left in the quarter. Grandin inside Bourne. Flip pass to Pasa. To Pasa. A little reverse layup. No, but Avram called for the foul. It's our third personal foul. It's been Tapasa to the line. Tapasa three for four for the night. Connects on the first. Gianola back in. Up for Idaho State is Barrientos. Second free throw is true, 51-47. There's Johnson, about a one second different shot clock and game clock. Street, it's a screen from Gianola and throws it out of bounds. So Idaho State will have a chance to hold for the last shot. They're gonna get Bourne up off the bench. Little Offense, defense, substitution for Sebaleski. Full court pressure extended. 14 now left to play in the third. Bourne across the timeline with 10. Bourne down near the logo to Moore with six. Tapasa with five. Tapasa stops at the free throw line. That one rattles out in the rebound pool and that will end the third quarter. Kansas State Outscores Idaho State 20 to 19 in the quarter, but still trail by 4, 51 47. 10 minutes of basketball left here on this Thanksgiving Thursday. We'll be right back from Mexico.
Welcome back to the Convention Center at the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya, site of the 2018 Women's Cancun Challenge. Monty Johnson handling the basketball for Kennesaw State, down four points, one quarter remaining. Johnson to Gianola, to Street. Trying to find Poole inside, Walker throws it into a double team. Back out to Walker. Walker with nine, throws it out up top. Johnson will corral it. Five seconds on the shot clock. Dribbling right at Sailor Grandin. Stops at the elbow, fires short. Rebound tipped around and controlled by Walker. Rare offensive rebound for the Owls. Street, guarded by Bourne. To Gianola. Gianola on the baseline. Dribbles towards the middle. Tries to go up, has it blocked. That one is saved by Idaho State and Moore grabs it. Grace Kenyon, the athletic play. Here's Bourne. Our side Kenyon, swung around to Grandin. Back and forth they go. A little game of hot potato for Idaho State. Inside Kenyon, Tapasa. Tapasa trying to grab it, fouled by Street. Had it momentarily. Peyton Lewis back in for Kennesaw State. Oh, popped out to Moore. Now Grandin. Rush 30. Here's Kenyon, elbow jumper well off. And the rebound to Poole. Here comes Street, dribbling at Bourne. Now back out. Near side to Johnson. Gianola. Lewis. Street at the top. Screen set by Poole. Poole has it down. Takes the dribble to her left and dribbles it out of bounds. Just the seventh turnover of the game for Kennesaw State. Taking care of the basketball. One of the things they are doing well keeping them in this game, a four-point contest, 51-47. There's Grandin. Grandin with the handoff, stops at the elbow. That one's too strong, Kenyon the rebound. Kenyon turns with the right hand short. Rebound tipped around, Kenyon. Moore on the floor, Amani Johnson dives in and finally it's tied up. The possession arrow will favor Idaho State. Seven forty-eight left to play in this game. New shot clock as a little break in the action. We'll clean up some sweat. Kenyon inbounds to Bourne. Delaney Moore to Bourne. Bourne in the middle to Tapasa. Tapasa takes a dribble. Three second violation called on Idaho State. It's the 12th turnover on the Bengals. And once again, Idaho State giving up an opportunity on the offensive end, allowing the Owls a chance to make this a one possession game. Cleaned up and ready to go. As Johnson jogs across the logo at midcourt. Over to Street. Street, little hesitation move. That one's too strong, and Tapasa grabs the rebound. Kenyon has it with Street chasing behind. Bourne. Grandin on the wing. Now Moore. Back to Grandin. Tapasa in the corner. Kenyon, skip pass to Moore. Hands to Grandin. Sailor Grandin for three, no. And the rebound, Gianola. Reed hands off to Johnson. Both teams scoreless for well over three minutes now. 
as Johnson to Poole. Takes a dribble, fades, no. More the rebound. Back and forth we go. There's Grandin. Grandin in the corner. Has it poked away by Poole. Poole hands to Gianola and another turnover for Idaho State. 13. Here comes Street, right to the middle. Has it blocked by Moore. Idaho State in no hurry. Here's Bourne near side. Now to Grandin, back to Moore. Trying to drive baseline on Gianola. Kicks out to the corner, Grace Kenyon for three. That one's off Gianola, the rebound and the foul on Bourne. That'll be the fifth foul on Bourne. As we sort this out, Five fouls on Bourne. Seeing if Idaho State calls for time. And he does, so. We'll take a break here with 5.50 left here in the ball game, four point lead for Idaho State. See if somebody can make a basket when we come back from Mexico. Welcome back here to the Hard Rock Hotel, Riviera Maya, and the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Kennesaw State trying to find the way to make a basket. They've been scoreless for five minutes. Here's Poole, Poole backing down Moore. Finally gets the bank shot to go. Alexis Poole, and the Owls are within two. Here's Moore. Idaho State certainly in no hurry. Oltrog will step up to a three and buries it. Montana Oltrog. Kennesaw State with the basketball. Pool flips to Abram. Abram takes a dribble. Now to Lewis, Lewis trying to go over the top, tip away by Moore, Lewis will grab it and is bumped. And Moore will pick up the foul, that's her third. Bourne already with five, Kenyon is playing with four. And that one's tipped and stolen by Grandin. An over the head pass to Oldtrock. Little pump fake, turns, fires, too strong. Two bangles there for the rebound. That one is no good. Poole grabs it, and the foul on Idaho State. So 
Back comes the out. And Johnson. Johnson calls out the play. Waves away straight on the far side. Doesn't take the screen. A little floater is too strong. Granny grabs the board. Thought about an over the head pass. But rather jogs it across the timeline. 4.15 to play. Goltron, side Kenyon, Kenyon, got to Grandin, to the corner, and Smith, Smith had stopped her dribble, Moore has it, back to Smith, Smith trying to work on Abram, out to Grandin, Grandin the baseline, jumper is good. <laughs> Taylor Grandin now with 18, it's a game high. Six of 10 from the field has hit four threes in this one. Poole standing at the top of the key. Gets it over to Johnson. Poole over the top, Abram. Abram backing down, slips one up, no. The rebound tipped around to Moore. Kenyon has it and gets it to Granyan. Granyan with the basketball. 3.20 in the clock, working fourth quarter. We'll try. Looking inside, flipped around, Grandin. Grandin, back to Kenyon, takes a dribble, looking inside to Smith. That one is tipped out of bounds off of Smith. It will be Al's basketball. Three oh seven to play. Fifty six forty nine is your score. Johnson, now Gianola, looking up top, driving in, lost the handle, and it's out of bounds. Ninth turnover of the game for Kennesaw State. And a timeout called by the Owls. The Owls won time. They fall behind within seven. Largest lead of the game for Idaho State is nine. These two teams trying to cap off a win. And the final game of this Thursday night. Again, five more coming your way. Morning, afternoon, and evening. Right here on CBS Digital. The Cancun Challenge brought to you by Triple Crown Sports. Idaho State inbounds it. Sailor Grandin dribbling up the court. 2.40 on the clock. Granted to Smith. Backdoor cut, tipped around. Poole grabs the steal. Back comes Johnson. That one's off of street. And it's a turnover. So a substitution. Gianola in. Walker. Ultron out there for Idaho State along with Moore, Tapasa, Grandin, and Kenyon. Grandin has it now. There's Kenyon. Kenyon turns. Bumped. Now swung around. The far side, it's Ultron. Now Kenyon. Kenyon. Little crossover dribble. Trying to avoid the contact, but does not. Runs over Walker for the offensive foul. Sixteen turnovers now for the Bengals. They've had plenty of chances. To drift away in this game and 
Not only is that a turnover, it's the fifth foul on Grace Kenyon. She is out of the ball game. So Kenyon will end the night. 16 points, 12 rebounds, four assists, and the five fouls. Second Bengal to foul out tonight. Bourne also sitting on the bench until tomorrow afternoon. There's Poole. Poole at the free throw line extended. Facing Tapasa, hands off to Johnson. Johnson takes the 15 footer, too strong. Poole trying to grab the offensive rebound, to, but Tapasa claims it. 90 seconds to play. Tapasa up top. Hands to Barrientos. Barrientos to Grandin. A little hesitation move. Grandin dribbling left, fadeaway jumper. That one rattles off, but the rebound to Moore. Moore will pull it back out. The host state certainly in no rush. Trying to burn through some of this clock. 23 seconds on the shot clock. Gianola fouls with 50.6 to go. It's a seven point lead. Just the second team foul on Kennesaw State here in the quarter. Walker jogs onto the court in place of Peyton Lewis. Barrientos to Eid inbound. Kicks it in the backcourt to Grandin. Grandin gets it across. Grandin dribbling with it. Gets it to Tapasa. Tapasa hounded by Poole and Poole bumped her. Third foul here in the quarter and a timeout called by Sebaleski. Still a seven point game, 47.1 on the clock. Kennesaw State who was near 50% shooting. In fact was seven of 15 in the first quarter is now just eight of 26 in the second half. Idaho State. 9 of 22. This fourth quarter has not been a high scoring one. The Bengals 5, Owls 2. It's been a defensive battle. We are at 10.36 local time. Johnson Fouls Grandin, that's four team fouls now. One more and we'll officially shoot free throws. Ultrahawk trying to inbound. Gets it to Barrientos who takes the foul from Gianola. Third foul on Gianola and Barrientos will have a chance to extend the Idaho State lead here. Free throw rattles off. Peyton Lewis in, Walker out. Owls going offense, defense, and the substitutions. Second free throw is off. Pool the rebound, up to Johnson. Johnson carrying it forward. Calls out the play. Poole sets the screen, an offensive foul. Called on Alexis Poole. Poole's third foul. Get right back to the Bengals. 11 turnovers for Kennesaw State. Tapasa has it. Bumped by Poole. Uh, quickly. Five fouls on Alexis Poole, so. Got a 
couple of seconds to think things over here for Kennesaw State. Safasa will shoot the free throw. It'll be Abram that checks into the game for Poole. Safasa's first free throw is good. 31.8 seconds remaining in the game. Peyton Lewis in, Walker out. The lead is eight. Make it nine after the Tapasa free throw. 11 points, nine rebounds for Cy Tapasa. There's a jumper by Johnson. That one's off, tipped around. Lewis controls. Out to Johnson. Johnson. Driving in, the left hand short. More of the rebound. More. It's over to Oltrog. Oltrog fouled by Gianola with 9.4 on the clock. And it looks like Seton Sebaleski is going to get another win for his squad. The Bengals will improve to 2 and 3 on the season. Kennesaw State will move to two and four. Trog hits the free throw. Converts both, 60-49, an 11 point game. Here comes Lewis. Lewis to Gianola. Gianola, Lewis blocked by Moore. Grandin will grab it and the buzzer will sound. Final score. The final game on this Thursday, 60 to 49, Idaho State wins it. We'll be back with five more games tomorrow right here in Cancun on CBS Sports Digital. It is the Cancun Challenge presented by Triple Crown Sports. We say goodnight to you. See you tomorrow from Cancun.